Okay, guys, moving on to our third bit of uh, movie news today. Again, from Deadline, uh, The Batman. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, the Batman is a property that is, uh, it's been, it's been touch and go. It's been touch and go a little bit, especially with all the COVID stuff happening, right? Um, so, uh, it, it recently was reported a few weeks ago that uh, Robert Pattinson, the star of the movie, Batman, Bruce Wayne, he came down with coronavirus. So, the whole production had to be shut down. Um, and then, you know, a few weeks later, you know, he, he got over it. He was tested. Everything was fine. Um, they resumed production again. Well, now it appears that production of the Batman has moved to Liverpool in England. And apparently the COVID numbers in, in Liverpool have spiked. It's one of the few places in the UK uh, where cases of COVID-19 have spiked quite high in comparison to the rest of the country. So now here is the production of the Batman. They need to stay on their production schedule. They're so far behind anyway. They're in, in Liverpool filming what they need to film and a few eyebrows are being raised. Is this a good idea for them uh, to go and continue filming the way that they had planned? Here in the article, as we scroll down, um, we come to find out that... Um, uh, here, local authorities have confirmed that film production is still allowed and that it is working with the studio to make sure strict COVID-19 measures are being adhered to, according to a report in Sky News today. Sky News, of, of course, being uh, one of the major trades in the UK. Um, yeah, um, I, I, I have a couple of feelings about this. First and foremost, I feel like, okay, you know, like, they're they're you know working with the local government with the local authorities trying to make sure that everybody plays ball and they're adhering to very strict guidelines and i would think that a production that's already been shut down for two weeks because their main star robert pattinson came down with coronavirus and you know uh, like a couple of weeks ago or uh, not even a couple of weeks ago i think it was last week jurassic world dominion they got shut down because multiple of their uh crew uh, contracted coronavirus. So the whole thing, well, and, and you know, the, the test came back negative, but even still they shut down production because that was protocol. Now here's the Batman. They've already been shut down. Robert Pattinson had COVID. Um, they're back up and running and they're, you know, I would imagine that they are playing ball. They have got to play by very, very strict guidelines. And if you know anything about the UK, they don't mess around. You guys in the United States, we, we we like to mess around but in the uk they don't mess around um dom you've spent a fair amount of time in the uk just the same as myself um you are familiar uh i don't know if you've actually been to liverpool or not but you're, you're familiar with the culture and the people and the times and things like that do you think that the batman production going to liverpool which is a hot spot in the uk right now to resume filming of the Batman is a good idea, or do you think that uh, you know it's it's fine? I don't, you know, I understand that they're taking precaution, you know, to make sure that they're they have all the, they have all these strict restrictions when it comes to COVID nineteen, but the fact that the main star, Robert Pattinson, who he just had the coronavirus, I'm thinking that everybody else. Is, could be potentially exposed and it's going to keep being passed on and not just with the crew members and everybody involved with this movie but people in town so it's like it's kind of like I personally feel like they should find another way to make sure that everybody is safe that's what we want to promote promote is safety for everybody to make sure that everybody's healthy at the same time as well and it's going to continue to progress if nobody's not taking precautions so I don't think right now filming is possible and especially when Liverpool is a hotspot. I just think that we should really look after ourselves and be mindful of our health and, you know, and just make sure that everybody's on the same page. You know, you bring up a really interesting point there in that um, uh, one of the things that you kind of uh, uh, tangentially touched on was the fact that we're kind of starting, as a society, we're kind of starting to play a little fast and loose uh, with this whole COVID thing, you know? Um, I've noticed it in my in my other life, and, you know, I've talked about it. I work as a, you know, flight attendant, um, as do yourself. 
Um, in fact, that's how we know each other. Hooray, right. furlough. <laughs> um, uh, uh, you know, I've noticed that uh, not just uh, fellow coworkers, but people on the airplane, people out and about in the city. I live in Harlem. Uh, there's, you know, there's a large group of people out around the world that are starting to play fast and loose with the COVID stuff, you know? Um, we're not as careful as we were back in April. We're not as careful as we were back in March, you know? Um, we're starting to be a, l a little bit more lax, a little bit more loose. And here's here's my official stance. Here's where, here's where I stand, you know? As long as we wear our masks, wash our hands, and social distance, that's what you need to do. Wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance. If you can't social distance, wear your mask and wash your hands. Excuse me, pardon me. If you can't wash your hands, wear your mask. That's my official stance. I agree. And I, I feel like if they can do that on set, things should be fine. Should. Being the right. operative word there. I, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like... Um, and it's not just with this movie, but there's a lot of TV shows that have to stop production. And and also there's certain scenes that they got to refrain from doing, like kissing scenes or touching scenes and stuff like that, because um, they don't want any type of cross contaminations to, you know, be an issue. So it's like, I personally feel that we should just take a breather, not just, and I understand we got to make sure we wear our masks and our gloves, but yet at the same time, if you're in an area or if you're in a hot spot, you're still gambling things. Or maybe and, not just film. Maybe just not film in the hot spot. How about that? Because you know there it. are ripple effects that that we haven't spoken of here. You know, uh, the Batman is on a time timetable. They're on a schedule. They have to finish the film by a certain date. And if they don't, then like the money just keeps piling up, and it costs more and more and more to make this thing. And not just with ba the Batman, but all of all of the films. And aside from that. If movies aren't being made, the studios aren't making money. And if the studios aren't making money, the whole thing shuts down. We don't have, like right now, we have major problems with the movie theaters. And this is something we've talked ad nauseum about on the show. Um, if the, like, the movie theaters are in real, real danger of being shut down because they don't have any new movies to show. Uh, and if they don't have any new movies to show, the studios don't make money. And if the studios don't make money, movies don't get made. And if movies don't get made, people are out of work. Like, this is an entire industry. And it's not just the Hollywood machine. It's it's T-shirts. It's toys. It's food. It's branding. It's marketing. Like, they're, like movies have yeah. become such um, a huge part of our pop culture. It reaches out into so. Look at what you and I are literally both wearing right now. You're wearing a costume. I'm we're wearing a geek T-shirt. If it weren't for the movies, this stuff wouldn't happen. Yeah. Vendors would not be able to sell T-shirts. So it's, it, it's, a, it's a hard conundrum right now, you guys. It's a really hard conundrum. Like, do they continue doing what they've been doing and, you know, adhere to very strict guidelines, as it sounds like they are, or do they just push it back and, you know, hope for the best? What do you guys think? Are you for it? Are you against it? Are you somewhere in between? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles would want you to do. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.